Right then, welcome back to another Music Pickups vid. I've got five vinyl records all together, and also a little box set with some CDs in there of one particular band. So in fact, let's do the CD first. Let's get it out of the way. So it's a three CD set compilation. I don't even think this is an official release, maybe just kind of a, a cheap, maybe third party kind of thing going on. But I saw it quite recently and it was going very cheap. I think it was $10. And I thought, you know what? Even though it's remastered versions, it's still decent. It's still going to be the same band singing and playing and all the rest of it. And it's a glam rock band called The Sweet. And you probably, well, you probably can see it, but it's very reflective. A, because of the light, and B, because it's silver. And that kind of very glossy, kind of vibrant, shiny, glam rocky front cover. So The Sweet are a great band. I mean, they're not my favourite glam rock band. That would probably have to go to, um, I guess, maybe Slade. But with The Sweet, you've got some fantastic songs many of which you'll probably be aware of. If they don't sound familiar, you'll probably know them if you hear them, such as Blockbuster, Action, Ballroom Blitz, um, Wig Wam Bam, Fox on the Run, there's many. Really good band, and like I say, when I saw it for $10, I thought, I've got to get that. And it's a three CD set compilation, which I think I said at the start of the vid, and Pink and Silver. How much more glam can you get? So, yeah, glad to get that one. Now onto the records. There's five altogether. One of them is used and four of them are brand new. So the one which is used, it was only $3, and that is Big Generator by the prog rock band called Yes. Now, if you're aware of this particular album, which came out in 1987, you'll probably know two songs, uh, one Love Will Find A Way, and the other Rhythm Of Love. Very cheesy 80s, it came out in 1987, like I say. So expect, you know, from watching the videos as I did earlier on, um, I've seen them before, but I wanted to re-familiarize myself with them, and the big mullets, and the cheesy kind of 80s sounds, but yeah, uh, yes, they're a decent band. This isn't their greatest record by any stretch, but I think it's all right, you know, for what they usually do. It's, uh, it's not too bad. And like I say, that's a used record. It was $3. Now, unfortunately, it does skip, you know, through the album every now and again, but I guess I could solve that by cleaning it. I've just not got around to that yet. Next up is an artist, as opposed to a band, called Tight Show. And the album is called Awake. Now, this is this guy's fourth album. Think like chill wave. Think of like an ambient kind of sound. Maybe slightly psychedelic. And what I love about this album in particular, <coughs> excuse me, is the uh, the title of the album, Awake, is actually the opening track to the album, to the record. And it's one of those tracks which reminds me of like a really warm summer morning. You know, you wake up early, maybe 4.30, 5 o'clock, half five in the morning. You may have the curtains closed, maybe not. Either way, the sun's kind of coming through. It's a warm day, and it's got that kind of summer vibe about it. Now, don't expect any lyrics on this album. It's that electro kind of music and that feel to it. So, um, but yeah, it's a really good record. Thoroughly recommended. Now, what I'm going to do, and I say this in every vid, is uh, I'm going to put some links down in the description box where I'll include one track, a random one. I mean, I've got to like it at least, you know or maybe I think it's one of the best ones on the album, and I'll put that in the description box. Uh, click on the link, and maybe you could discover a new band or a new song, and you could become a fan. Who knows? So that's that. The next one up, now, there is actually a slip cover for this, and I've taken it off, just so I can show you the, um, the front cover. And it's a band called Classics, and the album is called Hanging Gardens. Now, what I like about this, like I say, a pretty artistic kind of cover, but these little um, records, I guess the sleeves come out, and, you know, it's, it's nothing original, but it's a nice little touch. And it really does. It looks kind of cool. So you take it out, you get that, put that in. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I didn't really need to show you that. But yeah, when you think of um, classics, think of something like electronic music, uh, maybe even a bit of house in there, some new disco as well as a genre. Uh, think of something like a Daft Punk. If you like Daft Punk, you're probably going to like this. Now, this came out a couple of years ago. It's their debut album. And I really like it. <coughs> Excuse me, getting over another cold. A very mild one this time. So two records left. The first one up is a band that I saw... Uh, this is their second album, by the way. I saw their debut um, performance. I think it was a debut performance on British TV. And it was on the Jules Holland show. Pretty certain about that. And it was probably a couple of years ago. And that band is an Australian band called Tame Impala. And this record is called Lonerism. Now, the one song that they played, which, like I say, I think it was on the Jules Holland show, they played uh, Feels Like We Only Go Backwards. And it just stuck in my head. I thought it was really good. And think of, like, a psychedelic rock band. That's essentially what they are. Now, in terms of the rest of album, uh, rest of the album, it's decent. Uh, I've not really given it a great listen to, not in depth. 
Um, to be honest, I keep kind of going back to Feels Like We Only Go Backwards. For me, that's the best track of the album, but I may change my tune you know, once I've listened to everything else. But yeah, a decent album, a uh, decent record altogether. That song is very good. I mean, I couldn't keep listening to it eventually. That would be a bit grating, but yeah, so far, so good. And I do want to get their debut album eventually. Uh, it's not necessarily someone I'd recommend and say, you know, definitely prioritise them, go out and get that record. Maybe not, but listen to the track. Uh, like I say, that'll be in the description box. And if you like it, well, maybe you can investigate them a little bit more. And then last but not least is Blur. Now, I picked up Leisure. You can probably see it there. Where There it is. Uh, in the dark, in the corner there. Uh, I picked that up, I think, maybe the last pickup vid or the one before that, whenever it was. Blur are a fantastic band. Really like them. Now, this is their 1997 self-titled album, which includes Beetlebum, Song 2, um, On Your Own, I guess. Uh, you can pick a, a number of other tracks in there, whatever you like the look of or the sound of. Look Inside America is another decent one. So, not their best album for me, uh, but a good one nonetheless. I'd probably still say Park Life is my favourite, although that's probably speaking through, you know, rose-tinted nostalgic glasses. Because back in the mid-90s with the whole kind of Britpop explosion, I was really on board with that. I know I've touched upon that a few times. Um, so this was um, a blur, just in blur in general, as opposed to this album. A blur for me were a really important part of, of growing up, essentially. So when they announced last month that they're going to be releasing a new album, in fact, it's not even the fact that they said they were going to be releasing a new album. The fact that they said they'd finished it and it's going to be released in April, April the 27th, I think. It was just incredible. Now, I have listened to that one song that they've done so far. Um, I forget what you call it off the top of my head, but is it just called Whip Cream or something like that? I know the album's going to be called The Magic Whip. I can't remember what the, the, the song was actually called, but it's really good. You know, typical Blur, you know, being progressive, not stalling. And Damon Albany, I've got to say he's a genius. He really is. To think of the, all the stuff he's done with Blur, with uh, Gorillaz, The Good, The Bad and The Queen, um, the whole monkey opera thing that he's done, and whatever else for that matter. A really talented guy. And uh, when I was younger, I've got to be honest, I preferred Oasis and that kind of whole Oasis v Blur battle. But as I've gotten older, I'll always be a fan of Oasis. Um, but as I've gotten older, I've really started to appreciate Blur. I, I loved them back then, you know, in the, in the early 90s, before the whole Britpop thing uh, kicked off. I remember watching a programme called The Beat, presented by Gary Crowley in the very early 90s, like 92, 93. And Blur used to be on there quite a bit. Um, I guess it would have been tracks from their Modern Life is Rubbish album. So I was aware of Blur before they really made it big time. So I've always been a fan, but it, like I say, it's not until recent years that, you know, I've really started to appreciate them and Damon Alban in particular. So anyway, that's that. Bit of a short pickup vid. There's the CD box set, like I say, by The Sweet. Got to check them out. And also check out Slade. If you like glam rock, you've got to check out Slade. Slade are fantastic. I mean, I know a lot of people will probably just think of their Christmas song. Um, you know, Merry Christmas, everybody. But honestly, um, Slade are brilliant. And in fact, they were the biggest band in the country, in the UK, in the early to mid-70s. So uh, that in itself says something. Some fantastic tracks. And um, and that's that. So, yeah, there's that box set. And then there's these five records. A bit of a mixed bag, slightly. Um, but please to get them all, even if Big Generator isn't really 100% uh, uh, working, essentially, with the skipping of the odd track here and there. But it's not the end of the world. I'm sure I can fix that and get it back into working order. So I have actually bought some other records. So maybe next week or possibly the week after, I'll do another vinyl pickup feed. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.